Unfair and remediable inequalities are widely acknowledged as barriers to achieving targets set out in HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria programs. However, inequalities in these diseases remain poorly documented and not well understood. State of Inequality, HIV, Tuberculosis, and Malaria is the first technical report devoted to systematically assessing the global state of inequality in the three diseases. What does the report tell us? In most countries, inequalities in HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria are the reality. In particular, those who are poorer, have less education, or live in remote rural areas tend to fare worse than those who are richer, have more education, and live in urban areas. What's especially troublesome is that these inequalities often have not narrowed in the past decade. However, there are some more encouraging situations where inequalities are small or where the gaps are narrowing through faster improvement of intervention coverage among disadvantaged population subgroups. Situations that offer lessons about how health interventions can successfully target services to those with greater needs or those who have been left behind. The report demonstrates that tackling inequities would accelerate improvement in national averages and support progress towards the Sustainable Development Goals for HIV, Tuberculosis, and Malaria. More can and should be done to strengthen inequality monitoring. The report recommends 1. Include inequality indicators and targets in global and national disease strategies and performance assessments. 2. Ensure availability of more and better inequality data. Three, conduct regular inequality analysis and reporting. Four, use multiple forms of evidence to contextualize inequalities. Monitoring inequalities and taking action to improve the health of those experiencing disadvantage is a key part of achieving HIV, tuberculosis, and malaria goals and bringing these epidemics to an end.